Hello everybody, Jay Barino here, and welcome back. We're playing the Crystal Shards, created by Gemster. We finished this planet last time, so let's go uh, to the next place. Uh, okay, so we click this, and then we go to Solly. Very exciting. There's four more planets coming in the future, but we've got three missions on Solly. I do like how you can see the unlockables as you go. Fire bats. We should have come here first, you know? Uh, but we have predators, which... I mean, fire bats are less fragile, though predators, someone pointed out they had an active ability that I totally missed, so we'll have to make one of them, just so that we can understand what the heck, just understand what the heck it is. I do like this, you can very clearly see that you do have all the tech, that's really the main thing here, like, obviously the replayability with the achievements is cool, for the purposes of this playthrough I will not be getting every achievement, but, uh, that's there for you, and it's very nicely tracked via the bank data. This is why I always have about bank data being such a great thing. We're seeing it in action here, for sure. Take me to Solly, please. Stepman's research po post on planet Solly. Manager collected tech upgrades. Yes, yes, yes. We understand. Send me in. Now arriving at Solly. Solly. This geological biome is much more pleasing. The crystal shard is located just north of here. Wonderful. Let's set up our equipment at this nearby clearing. Can we just fly right to it? Done and done. Are we ready to head north? Problem. The shard is located underground. We lack excavation equipment. Fortunately, a local faction called the Junkers have been excavating the area for other various metals. They appear to be completely unaware of the shard's presence. Great. Then all we have to do is borrow their machinery. Should be easy enough. Okay, so we've got a TVT situation hey, coming sir. up here. Oh, Research. Yeah, this is fine for now. Um, I think maybe once we can start making those Vikings and Banshees, that's when we'll uh, oh, go angling for more luck. vehicle I upgrades. I do like this. I feel like we just keep moving towards healing rate and then healing regen. I don't love this uh, energy restoration, though. It could synergize well with Banshees. I think the healing grenade is sure excellent. Is? And then the unit tech, we just toss it all into our marines with those leeching bullets, which marines have such low survivability, frankly, that doesn't seem that great. The alternative is flashbang, which I would have to use. You know, not necessarily a bad thing, but I would have to use it, and that would assume that I actually do that. Life burst on the medic seems like it could be good. I don't have the heal range. We might not really need that, though. Uh, that would be good. Um, the next time we get a point, because that way we can uh, make sure that the medics aren't getting killed by siege tank blasts as our infantry is running in. I do actually really love the idea of this expansion pack with the three lock-on charges. Though, again, for TVT, I'm not really sure how much I'm uh, that interested in that. Um, that is really good versus Protoss, because every single one of their units has some amount of survivability. When you're against Zerg and Terran, less so. You use you kind of blow lock-on on like a Marine or a Zergling, and then the cooldown is wasted. So, eh. Okay, I'm happy with Back where everything off, is man, for now. Though, what is nice is we have that visibility in here as we go into the missions, and it'll tell us, I think, with the unlockables, excavation pretty much outright says... Wait, did I just... Uh, did I did I read this correctly? Can attack both ground and air units, planetary fortresses? You love to see that? Okay, that's very exciting. Uh, okay, here we go. The Junkers have mining facilities in the area. All we need to do is borrow their equipment for a moment and collect our shard. Okay. The location of the shard is somewhere underground in this region. The locals of the planet, the Junkers, have been excavating the area for other materials. Completely unaware of the shard's presence, Stepman plans to borrow the excavation equipment and extract the shard before it falls into the wrong hands. What's funny is, it says these people are locals. So we're actually just storming these people's home planet, stealing their stuff, and being immediately hostile without any attempt to be like, hey, can we have this shard and we'll leave you alone? So that's not a great look, Stepman. <laughs> the Junkers have strong fortifications to the northwest. However, the excavation sites themselves are much less defended. Perfect. It's time to take over this excavating operation. Due to the planet's subterranean gases, I am unable to provide an exact position for the shard. Then I guess we will hit the excavation sites one by one until we get lucky. That means hit every single one and it'll be in the last one. 
I guess, oh, we can't see the other achievements until after we beat the map, which I like quite a bit. I'll get this started. It seems like we're like right in the middle of the flipping map. I don't know how I feel about that. Back off. Okay. Need help, sir. And then just start fast plus one. We paid for that for a reason. We have to decide where we want to attack first. Seven excavation sites complete. Is this a situation where, like, the sooner we go, the better? I feel like probably not, though. I I don't know. Obviously, combat shields. Medic's healing faster is good. We just want to get... Nice and saturated. Nice and saturated. You know. You know. Nice and saturated. Okay, just in case, we're going to need that. I see a... Need help, sir? Resource pickup uh, down there, too. We'll grab... Oh, just my luck. Okay, I don't want to just sit in my base for too long without making some sort of progress, but I think the earlier that we can get some... Some upgrades, the better. Get a few medics. And then we have to get this filled up, which is kind of its own entire situation that we have to do. Uh, we do have the ability to get Neo Steel, right? Cargo expansion, expansion. That's a separate thing. Uh, I feel like Marauders versus Terran are quite good because they take way less damage versus uh, most. They're just like Marines in general. They're good in that situation. I'm not actually sure where I was going with that uh, way less damage versus stuff. And then just kind of, and the expectation that something's gonna come from that direction. I don't know. There's a lot of cheeky attacks. Say as long as we're spending our money getting upgrades, then I, I'm I'm happy. Let's grab this group and head on down. Oh, that's just another um, that's just another bu uh, beacon, and also down there is an expansion, so we probably want to get that going as soon as possible. So yes, Marines, please. They're aware of our presence or something. Warning: Protoss oh. signatures warping in. I am Akundela, the firstborn war leader of the Anak Toridas. The Crystal Shard will be ours as destiny has foretold. I see. But do not get in our way, or you will face the might of the Protoss. Entaro Zakur! Oh, great. Now we've got Protoss to deal Complete. with, too. Complete. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Just fascinating. Uh, I'm intrigued. Grab this. Research complete. So they're gonna go for this one up here, and we have to stop them from taking it. And this one's right by us, so I think we we do want to stop them for sure. Well, I had talked about maybe getting uh We had talked about about getting um something. What am I thinking here? Uh do we want stabilizer med packs or save up for stim pack is probably better. Our, our gas is in a it's a short commodity right now. Oh, cyclones. We had talked about getting cyclones specifically for situations like this uh, against Protoss. I assume that they're flying, so maybe we want more marines than, than marauders. Hard to say. Yeah, let's grab Stimpak and then just queue up a bunch of marines and marines. Go to Stepman, please. Now, what would be really be cheeky asked. is if there was an attack that was triggered to attack us up in that direction while we move down here to yes. fight off these Protoss. Oh, hey, you're not a junker. Oh, Scrap off. Uh, I should not have done this because there were defenses down here that would have helped against the Protoss. Whoops. Are you seeing this? It's a big no thanks from me on that Back one. Off. Seems like it was mostly shields, actually. Standing by. Hey, you're not a junker. Well, they're aware of our presence now. Pesky Terrans, you will not interfere with our destiny. Eliminate them. The Protoss appear to be launching an attack from the north. It's okay, it's alright, we're gonna heal through that. Let's wait for this, then we're gonna go for the bottom. And we're going to save up for plus three, because that's, that's going to be my jam. Go, go, go. Command center upgrade complete. 
need okay, help. great. Upgrade. And okay. let's get down here and get this expansion sure, as soon as possible. And then the Protoss are going to start attacking further and further out. So that's why we want to be really making a move sooner rather than later. Add on complete. Okay, so let's go. Did Stimpak finish? It's still going. It's just a long... Any infantry unit can initiate an excavation. Note, the excavating unit will be unable to perform any actions until the excavation is complete. Someone's using our equipment. Dismantle the intruders. The junkers are sending in reinforcements. Let's hold our ground. Now, the unfortunate part here is... This guy is not very strong, so him being the one on the beacon is not great. Yeah, you could take this with very, very little. Upgrade complete. Excavation complete. Shard status missing. No worries. Let's find another excavator. required. Going big job, Yep. Okay, and when we come down here, we take this, and we grab another barracks. We get another bunker up here. I did it again. I'm basically giving the Protoss this stuff for free, but this is fine. This is giving me the ability to um, traverse this map for basically free. But as soon as we destroy this, they're going to attack me as well. The Protoss will. The, the question is from which direction. I don't know. I don't need this many uh, command centers. Okay, there we go. Right. Oh, I mean, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. The question is, which you know, like, where are they going to go next? So at the end of the day, we really just need to protect our command centers and such. So let's just do that. Load this up. It may not have been here. But I will Need find help, it. Sir? It is imperative the Anactorians oh. cannot find yeah, the shard. I didn't door. destroy the thing. Just well, doesn't that sort of narrow down for us where it is? Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this one. Let's get two more barracks. Yo. Research complete. Ah. Need help, sir? This better be good. Okay. Marauder, go for it. Let's get up, up. Just fascinating. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Just fascinating. We use that grenade. It seems like it's one attack per round, basically. Excavation Back complete. Off. Shard status missing. That's all right. Third time's the charm, right? Go ahead. What's going on? Hey, gas it favorite. up. And then, yeah, this is getting us what we need. This is looking okay. I might even want more defense up there eventually. Help, sir. I'm just going to take this straight away. I guess one thing to consider is you could come here much earlier. Like before our last uh excavation complete. Shard status missing. Third time was not a charm. We're just gonna sit here and intercept this. Impressive work. You've really made a mess here, haven't you? My brethren have always been an oblivious bunch. If you have the time, I have a proposition for you. Need Meet me help, in the sir? forest to the west. Add on. End of transmission. Well, that was ominous. I guess we should go meet this mysterious figure deep in the forest. Onward. Go ahead. This better be by the number. Okay, we will do that. Meet with the mysterious junker for fire bats. Again, this doesn't really strike me as the mission that would be good for fire bats, but that is okay. Okay, you guys come on down here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna kill this. Base is under attack. Uh, ah, 
Oh! Okay, well. That's too bad. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Our SCVs are under attack. I was, like, literally getting prepared for it, too. It's, like, a real bummer. Okay, come on back down here. That's all right. So we know they come from this direction. And then I'm going to just walk up here and take this beacon before the Protoss do something else. That's just about done. I will get cargo expansion. I mean, we can Upgrade get some... Complete. Yeah, we can get some Predators, sure. Let's do it. You, gonna give me orders? Okay, you guys come on down here and get ready to load these up. What's prepare. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. This better be good. And then uh, the Terran are still there. Been waiting on you. Come, the load them up. We're ready to repair. You get into this, and then everybody keep rallying to Stetman. Get some more medics. Additional supply depots required. Probably not good to stim before attacking into Hellions, actually. Oh, sure back off. Where does it hurt? Additional supply depots Definitely larger and larger attacks, though I do like how fast the excavation goes. Excavation complete. Shard status missing. I don't know what that this is. This was not the desired outcome. Reminder, we should meet up with the mysterious Junker. I will. I'm busy, though. Cloaks for five seconds. Dealing damage or receiving. Okay, so it allows them to close the distance, basically. That's actually pretty sick. Upgrade complete. Need help, sir? Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Okay, feels good that we intercepted an enemy attack, so we don't have to worry about that, but we do have to get down here and stop them from extracting this. I don't know how long it takes them to do that. Or we just kill it right here. Need help, sir? The destroyers do extra versus light. No, that's that was a synergy thing. This better be good. Yes. Right. Oh, I mean, yes, sir. So I'm leaning towards, yeah, we just sort of attack down in this direction. Maybe let the Terran sort of deal with it for us. Seems like we also want a lot of anti-air. So, like, just let them kill it, right? I assume they will, right? Let's see what this is. These caches look different than the rest of the junk here. I wonder what's inside. Yeah. This cache appears to be locked. Perhaps we can obtain a key somehow. Okay, we need a key. They're not even attacking it! Upgrade complete. As destiny has foretold, the oh. shark is mine. Back off, man. Okay, well, we have to do it again. Great. <laughs> okay, this is the one that I let buy. Upgrade complete. So now... I got it. Base is under attack. Um, I think I'm kind of in the same position that I was in previously. I'm, I'm in good shape across the board here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. And then I'm going to go over and meet the fire bat. Or, or the reaper, rather. and the, Who's going to give us fire bats. One thing I noticed on this attempt is that when I went up, there's this one. It's blocked by a flammable tree. So we probably need to go and get those fire bats first. So I'm going to start heading over there. And this will also clear the way as w as needed. Excavation so. complete. Shard status missing. This was not the desired outcome. Reminder, we should meet up with the mysterious Junker. Yeah, she really wants us to do that before we finish the mission. Understandably. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Just fascinating. Back off, man. Uh, I also noticed that the Junkers don't seem to be hostile to the Protoss, interestingly enough. So you can't rely on the Junkers to whittle away the Protoss for you. I, I really thought that would be the case. It is not. Ooh, that guy was What's huge. This? That Firebat Commander just dropped a key card. 
It must be used to unlock something. Let's look around. Okay, well, that's we found that. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Okay, all of you just sort of chill here for now. I, I need to go and meet the, the fire bat man. He's right up here. So we have to find the other fire bat commander. Oh, just my luck. I'm glad you decided to visit. My name is Otis. My fellow junkers seem to lack vision. Apparently, both figuratively and literally. They haven't even noticed we are being invaded by the Protoss. Here is the deal. I help you with whatever it is you're doing, and in turn, you help me get off this blasted rock. You want to leave, Solly? What about the others? Precisely. I have bigger ambitions. Those idiots can stay here and rot for all I care. As a symbol of partnership, take these fire bats. I'll be seeing you around. I'm pretty certain I never accepted. <laughs> but I guess I can't complain about free fire bats. Free fire bats, okay. New unit fire bats, you love to see it. Fire bats are unlocked. Need help, sir? Oh, almost forgot. Some trees began growing directly in the middle of Back our off. roads. I'm a scientist. Mind giving them a quick Neural torch and upgrade complete. So this should I, have a plan. I guess make this go a little like allow us to get around the trees so you come on up here and destroy this one and then you come on down here and destroy this one and that should let us reinforce a little bit faster and now I can rally easily yes, let it burn great and then we have the key card for this I think I can make use of this oh Yes, I can! Okay, I don't have missile turrets here. But we're repairing. That's gone. Oh, and they actually retreat. Okay, let's grab this one then. Need help, sir? And then there's one of the Well we need to we need to find the, the fire bat. It's a good thing they don't just right-click on top like the guy. They actually have to attack move to him because that would be a lot rougher. I Excavation complete. Shard status missing. Mathematically unlucky. It looks like you're going after our excavation sites. Here, I'll mark all of the sites on your map. What a guy. Burn down the obstructive trees. Mineral so we just we need to stop the Protoss at this point. That's kind of our most important so. thing. We'll do. And we need to get two more, which I think that that's easy. We just want to make sure that we finish the main objective here soon. Or, I'm sorry, the side objectives. With the gear. Huh? I guess even just one of these with health fire, um, health storm batteries would have uh, really made that on? a lot simpler. But I think I have pretty much every upgrade available. Oh, hello. Damage radius. Oh, incinerator Back gauntlets. Off, you I'm love that. So we're looking for, I like how the burning the trees um, gives us unit tech. Sure. So again, we're just looking around. We want to find the key for the last thing. We want to keep some fire bats alive. Nope. Approaching the Anaktorida's base. Avoidance is advised. Okay, maybe up. Maybe he's up here. Where else could he be? Maybe all the way up there. Let's make a little circle around the top of the map. I don't really need any resources. I'll keep making guys. I make fire. I just make a lot of fire bats. Okay. You know that's what your boy wants. Ideal, because this is the direction we're moving in right now. This excavation site is blocked. All obstructed trees have been eliminated. Your cooperation is great. Appreciate it. Don't stand on the beacon, though. Don't stand on it. It's like, should I just, should I wait for them? Or I guess we can come down here. I wonder where the last Firebat commander is. Because based on the map... I really like how they turn around. That's that's really, really, really nice. 
Okay, we're gonna come down here. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Because that's the last one. But where haven't we been where he could be? This I do not know. But I feel like we don't have that much more time, so I should really figure it out here pretty Need soon. Help. I wonder if it's like, it takes them as long as it does to build the the ships, and that's how often they send out the, um, the Back attacks. Off, man. I'm a Surely he's not in the enemy base. I guess it's possible. That's the enemy, that's the Protoss base. Could he be back here? Maybe he's down here. That's the only place I could imagine right now. So let's head on up there and just make more Marines and Marauders and, you know, the works. Kill my own SCVs if necessary. So one was way over here. This is... I, I feel like this is actually the only place they that he, they could be. Is here? Let's Need hope. Help, sir? Just fascinating. I have a plan. Yes. Mm. Right. Oh, I mean, yes, sir. No. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. We've See, we've that? walked this path. Oh, he must be here. I was gonna say this is literally the only place we haven't been. Okay, delightful. Let's just go ahead and grab this since we're here. We'll then we'll go and get the last thing. Um, here you. Go and pick this up, please. Back off. Mineral field depleted. Just but as you can imagine, Need help, sir? this becomes much, much, much simpler when you have a solid start, as I did. Um, and actually, I feel like that's what makes this campaign. This is taking forever. That's what makes this campaign feel so much like the base campaigns. Is the first time you play it, there's a bit of a time crunch. You're not really sure, you know. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. But then, cash nice. collected. Armed and ready. Just fast. Need help, sir? And then just to slap, slap him in the face, we'll grab this last one. But then right. once you play it oh, once, you have a general yes, idea sir. of like how the attack waves work, the general me. timing of how the objective works. Then it becomes yes, Firebat, you will be the this one who, who excavates. I have a plan. If we were fighting Zerg here, then maybe we'll make more fire bats, but it's not really on the top of my list. I'm so sorry, reinforcing units. You didn't deserve that. Dude, the fire bats get stim. Oh, baby. Excavation complete. Shard status missing. There's some chatter on the Junker comms you might be interested in. I'll tap you in. I'm a scientist. So he did all that and didn't even find it. What the hell is this thing? Don't know, it just got excavated. Are you serious? The Junkers found it? Whatever it is, I bet it's worth a lot. Let's bring it to the boss. I like how they're different colors too. The first one was orange, this one's like a neon green. That's pretty cool. Excavate all 10 sites in numerical order before meeting with Otis in excavation. Excavate all 10. I thought that you need maybe on Brutal you need more because we only needed seven. So maybe you do them multiple at a time in numerical order. Am I crazy? Is maybe there's a number on each one? I have no idea. Don't kill any Anoctoridas excavators with your units on hard difficulty. You just have to go really, really fast or assume that the Terran can kill them. But again, I feel like when I played it again off camera, it didn't seem like they attacked each other. Destroy all Anoctorida structures in excavation. Well, that would that would make things nice. So Otis is going to be our dude who hangs out at the, the base with us. And that's uh, he's clearly sampled from John Delancey's Alarak. I can't believe the Junkers found the shard before us. They don't appear to understand what they found. You can be rest assured they don't. Otis, what are you doing here? Please, it's not like you made your camp inconspicuous. We appreciate your help earlier, but... You want that glowing green stone, right? Yes, but... You won't be able to reach it without me. 
The Protoss have set up warp conduits nearby and are preparing for something big. It appears that they are after that same grotty stone as you. Hmm. It would not be good if the Anactori does got to it. Good. You understand. You must destroy their warp conduits first. Once the Protoss are dealt with, then we will get your precious little stone. Cool. Very nice. Off, Hello, man. sir. I'm a scientist. What's it worth? Why are you so set on leaving Solly? This place isn't too bad. My future has no bearing here. I seek more in life than burning forests and scrapping machinery. That seems reasonable enough. Can you not simply leave the planet on your own? The Junkers have a decree explicitly forbidding departure from the planet. Why? Oh, the usual desire for power, maintaining control, caging subjects. Let them out to the universe, and you are no longer their puppeteer. And I am no puppet. I think it's just a function of the voice, but I, I, it's just like, it's the same character. He's just kind of like a slightly edgy, like, I'm too good for this place. Um, attitude, which is, again, is very much Alarak, but I think it's a function of the voice for sure. Um, let's Need help, let's sir? check our tech. I don't have the little pop-up that says how much we have. So, we have three left here. We can get fire bats. New passive, frost throwers. Deals cold damage instead. Each attack now applies a stack of chill on the unit, slowing movement and attack speed. With enough stacks of chill, a unit can be permanently frozen. Yo, these, um, these passives, the level three passives are actually really cool. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like this is not needed. Like, I think it's good, but it's not needed. Like, what if we did this? Because the expansion pack seems awesome, it's just you have to tech to it. And I think we're gonna get Vikings or Banshees this time, so maybe this is pointless. I don't know. That's hard to say. But then we have three points left still, so I actually could just, I could just do this. Um, the Predators being able to cloak in order to close the distance to units seems okay, but, again, passive, uh, passive, uh, not passive, active ability is just, just something I'm gonna forget to use or not use. I'm mostly just gonna be focused on, uh, making sure we stim and position ourselves correctly and then use Stepman's Grenade, but if we have flashbang, flashbangs on Marauders and the Life Burst on Medics, and then, you know, it's just, it's a little too much, I think. I think if we're against Protoss again, then... The expansion pack is the way to go. If I'm understanding correctly, next time the Protoss will be attacking the Junkers and maybe we're going to be racing them to it, or we have to protect the Junkers. I I don't know. But I'm I'm down to give this a shot cuz honestly that expansion pack seems it seems cool. I would really I would really like to try it out. The Frost Throwers also seems cool. We probably need an opportunity to fight Zerg for that. And we very well might cuz it Just seems like these missions do change. Do we have hero tech or research tech? Let me just double check this. See, this says we have two points in hero tech. Oh, that's literally uh, what it says we have. Dialogue. Okay, so we have two points here. I think just increasing the healing rate. I don't think the energy nova is going to be doing anything much for us. Maybe we, I mean, we could increase his general survivability. 50 HP for two points now. No thanks. Um, the regeneration... I don't actually know what would be best here. I mean, his max energy is a is a big yes. It says all nearby allies, not just biological. So if this works on ban like if we spawn banshees and then we pop this, that could be really good. We don't really need it for our medics, but more more abilities on him seems good to be to be fair. I mean, this really just seems like exclusively his healing are these three across here, so I don't think it's super necessary. And the medics get an upgrade to heal better, so I think I think that's what we do. Back off, and man, then when I'm we come scientist. back, we'll uh, we'll dive in and we'll see what uh, what our next unit is. I really like this campaign. Sure this? The, the missions just seem so meticulously crafted. Like, it's very clear a lot of care and testing goes into these for a very explicit experience. I think there was one mission in the first pack where it felt like the Zerg attack waves were just really overwhelming with, like, the Banelings in particular. I assume those have been changed since then, and this definitely feels like a hard. 
for uh, for like Blizzard standards. If we were playing on a Brutal, for example, then yes, I would expect maybe we were playing in the first mission pack, we'd see that level of difficulty here. So on a blind playthrough, this just it feels just right. The one we just played, yes, the uh, the loss condition was pretty tight. In that, if that thing made it to the excavators, it excavated as fast as you did. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. I really liked how fast it was. You only had to defend against one enemy wave. But at the same time, the Protoss also didn't have to deal with spawned Terran waves. And it didn't really seem like the Terran put up much of a fight at all to stop them. So you just have to be really, really proactive at stopping the, the Protoss. But what I like about this one is it felt like that Nova Covert Ops mission. I forget what it was called, but it's the one in the Kalmorian Combine where you're uh, extracting Terrazine. Except that mission goes on too long. It's too long of a mission. This one, because of the way it's crafted, it basically took all the lessons from that map and made it better, in my opinion. That being said, tight loss condition. If it happens, then, you know, restart like I did. It really wasn't that much time. These missions are nice, concise. They have, like, kind of a point to them. They have, like, an interesting scenario. And uh, it doesn't overstay its welcome, which I really, really, really appreciate. Um, but they're also just, it's not just that they're short, it's that they're just really, really well designed. So, thanks, Jamster. I really appreciate it. And we got two more missions to go. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.